your enemies thought they broke you and buried you. But God used it to fuel your purpose. Be ready to rise, chosen ones. Shout out to the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. I need every chosen one, every divine one, every star seeds undivided attention right now. Because while your enemies, while your so-called friends, while your family members, your own flesh and blood thought they broke you into pieces. They thought they buried you alive. But let me tell you something, chosen one. You will rise in this season. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I will rise in this season. You may have tried to knock me down, devil. You may have tried to set me back, but I will rise in this season. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. God sees everything that is going on in our lives right now. God sees the backstabbing. God sees people betraying you. God sees people acting funny with you. God sees people, you know, acting shady towards you, chosen ones. And it's the only reason why is because you are destined for greatness, chosen ones. You wonder why people, they're turning on you. They switch sides. Because guess what? They never really liked you in the first place. The more you begin to level up, the more people start to hate you and envy you and have jealousy towards you. And it's sad because the same thing God is doing for me can be the same thing he's doing for them. But they have a mind of a Decepticon. As a matter of fact, they are a Decepticon. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you doing better than them. But don't be in competition with them, chosen ones. Be in competition with yourself. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments in the comments below and say, yes, my enemies are in secret competition with me, but I'm going to be in competition with myself. That's when you become a better version of yourself is being the next best version of yourself. Understand where I'm coming from. We're focused on, on, on the mission. We're focused on our vision. God used all of that brokenness. God used all that, you know, that buried alive. They would try to, they thought they buried you alive. They thought they broke you. They thought, you know what I'm saying? They thought they really did something by betraying you. Stop putting your trust in people, chosen ones. I have to learn that. I thought everybody was for me. I thought everybody had my back. But the more successful I become, the more jealousy came towards my way, the more hatred came from the people that I love the most. And I thank God that he fueled it as my purpose. He fueled all that backstabbing for my purpose. Don't be afraid to put that in the comments below and, and say, Lord, I thank you for fueling, for fueling the fire in my bones. God was fuel, fueling the fire in your bones all, all alone. It's just like fire shut up in my bones. All this stuff made you better, chosen ones, is what I'm trying to say. It seemed like the more struggles we go through, it seemed like the more trials and tribulations we go through, it seemed like we get better. Not worse, we get better, not bitter. And I'm here to tell you what right now, chosen ones, when God fuel all that stuff to your purpose, it's going to make you the chosen one. Get ready to rise. Get ready to level up. You don't need not one person. You don't need not one human being on this earth that's not going to value you. That's not going to appreciate your presence. Because truth be told, there's not many like you chosen ones. Not only that you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. But your aura is so magnetic. This is why people hate you. Think about it. People hate you because of the way other people love you. You got to pay attention to the signs. And when people starting to figure out you're doing better than them, you get more attention than them, you get more love than them, you get more favor than them. They're going to do everything in their power to try to stop you on your mission. I don't give a damn what you're going through, chosen ones. I know we're going through hell and hot water, but do not let any of these things stop you from your purpose. 
We have a purpose to fulfill, chosen ones. And we're going to fulfill it until the day of Jesus Christ comes. So I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, don't give up. Don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Because the best is yet to come. I know we've been man endure for a night, but joy come into the morning. This is what I really want to tell the chosen ones. Listen up. I don't give a damn if you got to cry out to God. I don't care if you got to cry it out. I don't care if you got to scream it out. I don't care if you got to yell it out. I don't give a damn if you got to shout it out. Let it out. Don't hold all that pain and all that frustration and all that depression in. Don't hold all that stuff in. You holding all that anxiety in. Understand what I'm saying? I know that shit hurts when people walked out on you and they talked about you at the same time. When people thought you thought that was going to help you and they turned the other cheek on you. I know it hurts. But I'm here to tell you right now, everything happens for a reason, chosen ones. We got to stop learning to depend on people and learn how to depend and put our trust in God. Don't you fear a goddamn thing out here for God didn't give you the spirit of fear, but the love, but the, but the power of love and of a sound mind. You shouldn't fear nothing on this earth. Don't you let nothing stop you from getting your breakthrough. If you got to break the walls of Jericho, God damn it, break the walls of Jericho to get where you need to go. And as the greatest motivational speaker to ever live. I've been through it and God got me through it. You got to go through some things, chosen ones. I love it when it's a challenge. Don't be afraid to put it in the comments below and say, I love it when the devil try to challenge me because I'm going to accept the challenge at all costs. I'm going to give it all I got. You got to have that mamba mentality. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. What made Kobe Bryant better than the rest of the people on the court? Because of his mentality. If you can make it through betrayal, if you can make it through snakes in the grass, if you can make it through character assassination, God damn it, you can make it through anything in life. If you can make it going through the hospital and nobody coming to your rescue, nobody coming to see you in the hospital. If you can make it through all that, I'm in the hospital trying to call people. I never forget. If God decided to come and take me that same day I was in the hospital, nobody would never knew. Because there's no love out here in these streets. There's no real love out here in these families. Your friends don't love you like that. Your so-called friends don't love you because if they love you, they're going to be there for you when you really need them the most. So yeah, people thinking they, they broke you and they buried you alive. They thought they thinking right now that you're done for good. We ain't even talk about the past alone. We already know they planning on your downfall in the, in the past. They planned on your downfall, but God already preordained your breakthrough. <laughs> That's in one of my last videos I just came out. God already preordained your breakthrough. You're going to get your breakthrough, but only if you keep going. You're going to get your breakthrough, but only if you keep pressing towards the mark. You're going to get your breakthrough if you let nothing stop you from getting your breakthrough. Plain and simple. As long as you wake up every single day. And I need you to listen up, children. It don't matter about the fancy cars. It don't matter about these houses on the hill. It don't matter about the money that's in your pocket. As long as you can make it through the next day, you're going to get your breakthrough. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, as long as... As I wake up to see another day, I'm going to get my breakthrough. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below. Because what God got for you is just for you. And even though they broke you, even though they thought they buried you alive, think about what they did to Jesus. They beat him to a bloody pole. Watch the passion of the Christ. I cried like a baby. And I was watching, I was like, I think I was about 14 or 15 years old, 13. I always had a heart for God because of how my grandmother raised me in the fear and admission of God. The Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get old, it won't depart from the Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank God for you, the Lord Zero Huey, Zero Huey. I thank God for you, my love.
Rest in peace to you. Watch the passion of the Christ. Look at what they did to Jesus. It's just the same thing I'm going through right now. When Jesus went into the wilderness to pray for 40 days and 40 nights, then nobody wanted to go to pray with him. Y'all better pay attention. When Jesus was really out here healing the sick, raising the dead, everybody still hated him. Y'all better pay attention. When they put the crown of thorns on his head. Understand what I'm saying? When they beated him with the cat of nine tails. 39 stripes on his back. He trying to show us this is what they going to do to you. They going to try to break you. They going to try to bury you alive. But I bet you they didn't expect Jesus to rise on the third day. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, Lord, I thank you for rising on the third day with all power in your hands. Don't be afraid to put it in the comments below and say, Lord, I love you for rising on the third, for rising on the third day with all power in your hands. Lord, I appreciate you because guess what? You could have, you could have stayed down. And all God is trying to tell you, chosen ones, you could have stayed down, but you're going to get back up. We fall down, but we're going to get back up again. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, we fall down, but we shall get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down, but got up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down. And God, uh, yeah, we fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. For a seed is just a sinner who fell down and got up yeah don't you fall down and then don't you get your ass back up again that's all I'm trying to say for a seed is just a sinner who fell down y'all gotta y'all gotta excuse me right now because that song is in my spirit and God up. God going to allow you to get back up again. God is going to allow you to rise again in this season. Don't you stay down and not get your butt back up. And you going to win in this season. Join my WTC mentor program. And I guarantee you, I'm going to get you to the next level. My email is Jordan underscore Howard 18 at Yahoo.com. Understand what I'm saying? If you guys would love to be a blessing to this channel, Cash App and PayPal will be in the description below. Whatever God put in your heart to give, be a blessing. And to all my new beginning believers, please comment a level level below because God is getting ready to do a new thing in our lives. So even though they try to bury you, <laughs> even though they try to break you into pieces, you will rise in Jesus' name. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.